Hello, everyone. Pelly Tub here. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. These guys have been sitting here in complete silence. They can do that until I started talking. Powder next to a lot of bits of fertilizer and one real hot day and unbelievable. Unbelievable. Welcome back to the series, everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day. We are going to be venturing into what was this place called? This is the Fallbrook Crossroads. We passed this on the way to the uh, the transistor area, the broadcasting area up on Devil's Peak. We passed this on the way in, and they were like, this is a good halfway point if you want to stop in and, and have a drink. Uh, we didn't do that. We just walked right on by. But while we were doing the quest for the, uh, I, I guess you could call him the CEO of a corporation that I guess he's not even the CEO, the branch manager for this fucking planet. He was cut off from the board and now he's trying to do anything he can to get back on the board. And it seems like if we help him get back on the board, we're going to be in a position where we can then use the... Oh, well radio signals here to broadcast some stuff that we need to broadcast and we can't currently do it because they are the ones filling up the broadcast signals did we cover everything i feel like we covered everything a sublight thug hello whoa look at that helmet dude i'm sure he didn't mind me pointing my gun directly at him there i'm sure that was no big deal hello hey Catherine. uh-huh you blind fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sisty pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Catherine, you're as welcoming as ever. Truthfully spoken. I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. I turned on large text mode. I think it actually looks a lot better. Maybe that means I'm getting old. If my nugget of paradise you mean piece of manti dung, then sure. How is that charming? Nice to meet you. I'm Billy. I'll be sure to remember that, fella. Want to tell me what you need? Well, I'm half listening. Well, it's at least you're listening a little bit. Um, Sanjar said, you know something about a corporation operating in, se operating in secret here on Monarch? Is that true? Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me. And I'll pay you handsomely. Now we're doing a job for Catherine. Okay. And I'll thank you kindly for it. Catherine? I don't know, dude. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. We meet one new person, we have one new task to do. Is anyone actually surprised by that? I didn't think so. So it looks like as fast as we got here, we're gonna be it's leaving. Right, Heading outside. To investigate something for Catherine now. God, I want that guy's helmet. On her bad side. Then she's liable to drown you in the waterfall. Well, we creep forward up the road and we're overlooking the area that we were told to investigate. I don't have my sniper rifle anymore, but I can zoom in a little bit. I don't need much more magnification than this to tell you things aren't going too well down there. Um, on a side note. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, fall damage is real. I knew that, but I did it anyway. Where's our last quick save? Fuck, dude. On a side note, I've been trying to figure out why we were getting those stutters in this game. It's more or less been fixed. Oh, we're back in town. I mean, there was a little bit when we were talking to that lady right at the beginning when we were talking to Catherine. Um, other than that, I haven't seen it too much, thankfully. I ran a bunch of tests on my hard drives, so installed new drivers, you know, the normal yeah, stuff. Done. Verified the integrity yeah, of the game. Certain, uh, it seems like most of it's been fixed. Sorry if it's still affecting yeah. your viewing what is it? She? performance. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what word I was looking details. for. It used to be I thought she was a simulated intelligence. You know, a long series of commands telling her how to react to certain inputs. You used to. What do you think now? Well, 
I'd stake my reputation well, as being an ambush. We ought to see if anybody's still alive. Not looking too good at all. Oh, what is that weapon? The Vortex Mace. I'll take that if you don't mind. They got a lot of ammo sitting around too. What is this thing? A trail of blood leads away from the auto loader. I mean, how do you know it's a trail? There's just kind of blood in every direction. Over here. What am I supposed to be looking at? Oh, is this the trail? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leading over to this little overhang. Oh, it's a bunker? The smuggler's tunnel. Okay, I was not expecting to find that there. I thought we were just going to come across a... Oh, no. I thought we were going to come across a dead body, and that would be about it. Okay, everybody back. We'll use our we'll use our optics here. Yo, fuck Down mines, dude. I killed something. <laughs> I can't just disable these, right? It's okay. It's okay. We just need to be careful. We need to take our time. Everything's fine. They clearly wanted you to go through that way. I think I got another concussion. I'm just in never-ending concussions, dude. Oh no, are you the only one alive and your friends are dead? <laughs> you gotta admit, that would've been sad. Wait, what do we have here? Was oh, is it highlighting things for me to pick up? Oh, is that my little talent? <gasps> Can I pick him up from a distance or it's just highlighting it? Okay. Well, how do I break these if it's not blowing them up. I guess we'll just avoid him. I guess we'll just walk around. That's really no big deal. What? I don't think I can walk around here. Up. And up. Okay, careful. Man, these smugglers are not fucking around with their tunnel. I am curious to see what's down this way. Away from the objective. I killed some little dudes again. My bad, little guys. You know, at least they're dying very quickly. We, we, do, ooh, the bolster pistol. That sounds like a science gun, dude. It's my dream to use technologically advanced weaponry. It's my dream. We'll check it out in just a second. I don't know how many of you watched my Fallout 4 content when we were doing that. We probably streamed that every day for two weeks. Like, I was really into it at a time. Fucking landmines, dude. Everywhere. Landmines, the bane of my existence. I can't fucking stand them. They're terrible. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. Hey, bud. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Fucking shot every one of them. I've got moves. <laughs> You call those traps? I've seen nanor peels that were more dangerous. Well, you don't gotta be mean about it. <laughs> what are you doing out here anyway? Well, let me take a look at your wounds first, bud. I have a 35... I have more than a 35 skill in medical, so I'm qualified to take a look at it. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I gnawed through my last Spratwurst an hour ago. Spratwurst? What's with all the traps there, friend? Cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. I'm not a gawker. Do you know what happened here? I want to know what happened here. Excuse me. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. So you think they're dead? The marauders knew we were coming. Rigged the bridge with explosives and everything. If they found us, my guess is they found the client too. It's a good guess. Uh, where'd the Marauders go? Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath. All right. Don't trip over your, your trip wires. Wait, did... He caught his breath all... Oh, no, he didn't. He's right there. 
The Inferno Scythe. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna loot everything in here. We'll break down what we don't need, which is gonna be most of it. Uh, because of our engineering level, whenever I break down weapons like that, we have a chance of getting mods. So that's why I've been kind of just looting every weapon I can see just for the sake of breaking it down. Um, in most cases that I've seen, the mods are actually more valuable than the weapon. So it's my way of making a little bit of my cash back. We did have to spend, what was it, 10,000 biddies on... Oh, yeah, bro, where's there? He fucking lied. Uh, we did have to spend 10,000 bits on getting the nav key just to land in Stellar Bay. So recouping a little bit of my losses. Don't mind if I do. It looks like this place is almost dry. We'll go looking for those marauders here in a second. What do these guys do about the tripwire? <laughs> hey, ladies, let's go! Come on! What are you doing? Get over that tripwire right now! And they just get. Oh, they, oh, they cheated! No, no, no! I'm gonna watch this. How do you get over the tripwire? No fucking cheating. No teleporting. Ladies, figure it out. What are you doing? Look, if I'm looking at them, they seriously can't get over. Are they going to be behind me if I look Wait. <laughs> Coming up on the area the Marauders went to, it was about 200 miles away from that cave. But it was a straight shoot as far as terrain goes. Let's see. I mean, we got one Marauder there. I'm kind of in high grass. A little bit difficult to see. I have to say, coming, I, I probably didn't play this game for two weeks. Not because I didn't want to. Please. Obviously, I wanted to, but. Just let us down from here. The color palette's weird to come back to. Maybe it's just this planet. Everything kind of looks a little fuzzy, though. Uh, So, someone's screaming over there. That's probably the big man client. We got some dogs. A lookout guy who, once again, is completely oblivious to our existence. Oh, is that him? Oh, yeah, there's a scientist on that roof hooked up to exploding barrels. I see. Well, isn't this an exploding barrel? Here we go. <laughs> it would appear so. He's already dead. Complete waste of ammunition there. Pavati! Nice hit. I think we're cleaning them out, dude. Let's try out our new gun. This was the sciency looking pistol. Oh, fuck. Fuck, he just blew up. Fuck. 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 You know what? I'm going to say that one was my fault. That one was probably on me. <laughs> oh, here's the ladder. I like how I just saw the fucking fumes from the barrel. Ugh. Pravati's like, yo, maybe he's still alive. Maybe you can... <laughs> Dude, they don't even know what's going on. They're oblivious. They're just chilling in here. They got a lot of wine, though. A goon. And the ringleader. Well, the ringleader's clearly the stronger one. They have no fucking clue! Alright. Oh, not bad! Take him down! Now, of course, with this weapon, we don't have the knockdown effect. Which was a big part of how we were playing before. But I think it'll be okay. They had a flamethrower in there. What are we yelling about? Where is he? Oh, downstairs. Oh, shit. They're both dead. All right, ladies. Get back up. No sleeping on the job. You guys are fine. It was just one shot. That's all he needed. These canisters don't look good. Some dead scientists down here. Are they working on growing some new plant life? Or... Sustaining the already present plant life. 
I gotta make it up to the top. Not the roof. It's back here, maybe, in this room? Oh, fuck a terminal. The terminal is only to be used by UDL personnel with the A237 clearance. If you're reading this without A237 clearance, please report to your supervisor for immediate termination and disciplinary action. Including not limited to fines in excess of 100,000 bits, detention in a UDL authorized incarceration center for up to 136 months, mandatory corporate policies and value seminars, and revocation of company lounge and or bathroom privileges. Okay, um... Let's look at the research data. Project Lorem Ipsum shall result in a potent, mostly non-lethal crowd control gas for use against rioting, agitated, or excessively numerous crowds. Rich sulfur pockets make Monarch a prime site for testing and, and experimentation. Early results show promise, but further research is necessary. UDL disavows all knowledge of and responsibility for Lorem Ipsum. All data in this report is considered pro proprietary knowledge of UDL. All right. Well, I transferred that over to a tape. It just seems like they're working on some tear gas. That's not that big of a deal. Messages. I don't think I want to pry this much. All right. When we check the servers, some non-lethal gas. That seems like the best case scenario. So why were these guys killing the scientists? I guess for their food. They were in here cooking. It almost, no, he was on this, wasn't he? I thought they were in here just making food. Well, it looks like we have to go back down to... Oh, that's all the way back to the city. What's our journal say for... Go away, White. The quest line said to go back Catherine's to town, lady. but this lady... Out of sulfur, so long the guy we saved said she might pay us. Because we only sell one here. I stopped some marauders. I found the sublight supply runners hiding in a cave. I'll presume you mean Arthur. The one you sent scurrying back like a sprat with his tail cut off? Like a sprat? Reckon I'm happy he's alive. I'd be happier if the marauders who botched my drop were dead. Well, in fact, they are. Wait. Need a hand for hire. Doing what? If it's one that don't mind getting dirty, then I sure do. But how am I to know whether you're reliable, if not fully trustworthy? I'm not. Well, that sure convinced me. <laughs> Fine then. I'll lay it out there. <laughs> There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. I got a feeling this is going to involve murder and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's going to get it for me. Uh, what? I just wanted to see if she would pay me to kill more marauders. This seems a little excessive. Kill him. Run him out. I don't rightly care for the details. So long as Clive knows resistance to me is costly and futile. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Okay. Can say I just kill him? <laughs> I don't want to do any of this, but I'm curious. Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. Okay. Sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I don't know anything about this lady. I don't necessarily want to help her take over anything. I don't think it benefits me in any way whatsoever, but I was interested to see where that went. This looks like a nice little, a nice little thieves hideaway, though. 
they seem pretty set here. And they're operating without a corporation telling them what to do. Which I gotta say, I appreciate that too. That being said, let's get back to town. We'll tell Sanjar what's up with his thing. He should be pretty happy to hear that we recovered their plans, what they were up to. What job did the board assign you when you came of age? Bet it was something real neat, like professional flexing. Wilderness patrol. Plenty of folk traveling on foot. Sanjar! Thank you for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Yeah, you have fun anyway, with that paperwork, dude. What can I do for you? Yeah, so I found a data cartridge with details of UDL's secret experiments. They're making a crowd control guess. Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? Uh, not so fast. What are these reformations that you're talking about? Um. <laughs> Look at number four. Oh, did I say I have my data cartridge? That's just what I call my left fucking nut. Uh, I'm going to go with three. What are you going to reformat everyone's files? Is that what reformations is? That's just cruel and inefficient. I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. What's going to happen to the people here when the board figures out what you're doing? Well, by that point, my hope is that we'll be on the board once more. I'm just... Maybe I'm worrying too much, but it seems the folks here get plans made for them an awful lot. When do they get to start making plans for themselves? That's a great question. Once MSI is restored, the people of Monarch will be able to make more choices. We'll have all the brands and resources of the board here. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52. With that data you're holding, of course. Sure. Here you go, bud. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. Mighty big of you. Suppose we'll have to see if Graham's able to do the same. Believe me, you've got your work cut out for you there. Was there anything else? Wait. Was... Uh, was Graham the guy in the broadcast area? Because I thought we were just kind of done. I thought once they were done, we'd be good. Help the, help the broker deal with MSI and the Iconoclast. The broker can't deliver the location of the chemicals until you stop the Iconoclast and MSI transmissions. Fuck! All right, as far as our level up skills, obviously persuasion's at 100. Now we're going to start to up our science. Is that dumb? Corrosive damage? I mean, I, uh, I actually... So, chance on items you repair to become pristine, increasing their value. Maybe we'll just go engineering. Cause I don't, I don't have any corrosive guns right now. Further reduced tinkering costs, negative ninety percent. Tinkering cost for science weapons is capped. I don't think I'm ever gonna use this. Maybe we just go for. Um, companions get an additional twenty five percent of inhaler healing effect. Let's get to determination to 60. That increased our companion's health by 597. I'm pretty sure that's more health than I have altogether. Also, we're back up to 13,000 bits, dude. Everything's going great. All right, we'll submit that. That's what I want to do. Perks. Let's see. Rolling thunder. Killing an enemy reduces the remaining cooldown of companion abilities. I don't kill very many enemies. But anything that lets me spam their little cutscenes is probably going to be good for our character, considering we don't really do any damage ourselves. Now, as far as where I need to go for this next thing, let's look at the region. Just to Amber Heights, which isn't that far away. We can go knock that out really easy. In the meantime, let's go back to the local map. 
This is a vendor right here, right? I'm just gonna sell my junk. Well, well. The only new folk I ever see in town are sublight runners from Fallbrook. But you don't look like one of Catherine's. Not today. What can I get you? Uh, I'd like to trade. If you don't see it. I'm just here to sell my junk. Don't mind me. Look at all these mods we've acquired. I don't know what any of these do. We could just sell them for even more bits. They would probably enhance my life more as money. Sell junk. Beautiful. We can repair everything too. I think I can repair this my... Ooh. I can repair it myself. No, we'll go back to the ship for that. All right. Well, we solved one problem. Unfortunately, it didn't solve more of my problems. So, back into the wilderness. I'll see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.